I just got my suitcase out of storage. Right now it's Sunday and I'm leaving for my trip early Tuesday morning. I'm gonna be going to the Hamptons for four days. This is gonna be my first trip traveling by myself. I am meeting like my best friend there, but I'm getting there all alone. I thought I'd document the process of like preparing for the vacation. It's also a little bit different because I have pets. I have all my rats, my cats, and I also have like a heck ton of houseplants that I need to like prepare and baby a little bit right now for when I leave. Also, I live with my family. My sister's gonna be taking care of the rats and all the pets are taken care of. I just wanna like clean out their cage and just make it all nice before I leave. I thought I'd take you through everything that I'm bringing while I put it into my suitcase. For bottoms, I'm bringing two pairs of shorts and then two pairs of jeans, a light wash, and then this kind of pink color. Then I just have some PJs. I have a mix of shorts and also sweatpants just because I'm not really sure like the temp of where I'm gonna be sleeping. I know people there play golf and tennis. And although that's not exactly my thing, not really what I like to spend my time doing, I brought one active exercise outfit this is just a white Lululemon tank top and then just a gray pair of Lululemon leggings. For shirts, I'm bringing one, two, three tank tops and then a couple fancier t-shirts. Just in case it's not warm enough to just be wearing a tank, I brought a button-up cardigan. And then I have two collared button-ups that I can just throw over. I'm bringing one long skirt. This is like easily paired with like a white t-shirt or tank top of some sort. This is just from Aritzia. And then I'm also bringing this one dress. This is sort of like a night look. It's like a little skimpy and short, not gonna lie. It's like a little black dress. I got it from Urban Outfitters quite a few years ago. Um, and it has a sort of open back. I have one other dress, but it's sort of more of like a swim cover up. I don't think I'd like wear this just regularly because it is kind of sheer and the back is like completely, completely open. In terms of beach wear, I'm bringing two different bathing suits. I got one from Zaffel quite a few years ago. This just string black bikini. Um, we don't support Zaffel anymore though, of course. And this is my mom's old bikini. It's just striped and it has these cute little ties. I was thinking of just wearing like Converse as like my regular everyday shoe. And then I bring these chunky heels. These are from Vagabond. Now on to the next thing we need to do. I'm gonna take a look at all of my house plants and see what's dry. I bring the plants to my washroom and make sure the water goes all the way through and drips out of the bottom. I'll also put some of my larger plants in the shower and give them a really good washing like that. It'll also get any dust off the leaves. My flight is literally in less than 12 hours. So this is really like sinking in that I'm actually doing this and actually going on a plane. I stopped off at Shoppers on my way home from work to pick up my sort of last minute necessities. I'm only taking carry-ons, I'm not checking a bag. So all of like my products have to be under 100 milliliters, 3.4 ounces, something like that. So I picked up this travel set so I can put like my cream in it. But then while I was at Shoppers, they also had these mini Cetaphil products, which I thought were so cute. Then I also got a mini Dove deodorant. I need some snacks while I'm in the airport. I do have a layover and I don't wanna be spending like a ton of money on food in the airport. So of course you need the healthy, the healthy snacks. Um, this massive bag of Maltesers and some caramel. Now I need to get these all packed up and get everything into my luggage because I'm still not done packing. I've stored my big chunky boots in this bag just so it doesn't get everything dirty. It goes all my toiletries. And then this is my makeup pouch. Now I'm just gonna do my weekly deep clean of my rat cage. I filmed the whole process of how I do this previously. I'll link it. I do the exact same thing. It was before when I had a smaller cage, I didn't have this double coordination just yet, but I do the exact same stuff. I'm just gonna take all the little rats out and put them on my bed so that they can just run around because I'm gonna take out this bottom and like fully wipe it down and put in new bedding. I filmed many videos with my rats if you haven't seen them. This is my older rat, Sprout. This is one of my younger girls, Willow. I have four in total, two older girls, and then two younger ones that I just recently adopted. That's Dumpling, and this is my really little girl, Sage. I'm just gonna speed up this whole process since I do have an entire video, and I know some people aren't actually interested in my rat stuff, and I wouldn't wanna force them to watch it. So, let me get through it. I put in a thick, thick layer of new bedding, but I also set aside the old bedding and I mix that in as well, just so it's not a shock to the rats when it's just like all new. At least when I mix in the old stuff, it'll still have their scent. I think my bag is all packed. I hope I'm not like forgetting anything. Socks, underwear, I, I think I have everything. Also, I'm only there for like five days, so it's not that serious. Um, I don't need that much stuff. Good morning. As you can see, it's 
she's a little dark outside it's a little bit early i just want to ensure i gave myself enough time at the airport because with all these new covid precautions um i i didn't want to be rushed to get to my gate or anything like that i made myself some sandwiches so that i can snack on these at the airport versus having to buy a bunch of food there i just called my uber i'm honestly kind of nervous like my stomach's like has butterflies <laughs> Made it through on our first flight from Toronto to Ottawa now. I just got off my flight. I'm here in Ottawa now. I'm just waiting. I have a layover and then I'm going to be flying to Montreal. Basically, you can fly direct from Toronto to New York in like an hour and a half. Um, but I decided to go for the cheaper route, which ended up being a seven hour trip with two different layovers and overall three flights. So this is definitely a journey that I'm taking. I was so stressed arriving in Toronto and like going through all of the, the different steps, you know what I mean? I went and basically you guys saw my bag this morning. I no longer have my bag. I thought it was carry-on size. I measured it at home and I guess I was like on crack or something because it was not carry-on size. So I had to check that bag and my ticket didn't have a check bag. So I had to pay for that. It was $30. So not too crazy. And it is like pretty easy to like only have a backpack going around all these airports. It seems like everything in this end of the airport is closed. It's 9 a.m. So I would have thought it would have been open by now. Perhaps it's like closed because it's not that busy around here maybe. I'm a little bit worried about getting from the actual New York airport to the Hamptons. They have like this jitney, which is like a bus, I think. It's not a train. I think it's a bus. Um, you can see I've done my research so well. So of course I'll be documenting that and I'm a little bit worried about that part. Also the thought that my luggage is going to be going on like three different flights and I just like meet it in New York and that's kind of like impressive because they have to like take it off the flight and then like check it and then put it somewhere. Up. I don't know. It seems like a lot of work, but hopefully it works out. Second flight is all complete. I'm in Montreal now. I'm sort of like missioning through the airport right now. I've walked quite a while because I need to go to a whole different end of the airport because I'm traveling international to the US from Canada. I just went to US Customs. It was honestly scary. Like they ask all the questions and I feel like he's judging me and I feel like I'm saying the wrong thing even though I'm like telling the truth. On to flight number three. Let me show you the food that they gave me. We got two bags of pretzels and I finished both of them. Orange juice was what I chose. There's also like tea, coffee, apple juice, coke, and then some water. I'm off the plane. I'm at the baggage claim area now. To get from LaGuardia Airport to Montauk, I booked myself a Jitney bus and I wasn't really sure what time would be best. So it said that I was gonna land at the airport at 3 p.m. and then there was a Jitney at 4.45, which I was like, I hope I'm gonna make that. Like, what if my bag's late? What if some complications happen? I don't know. But then the one after that was 6.45. So I was like, okay, let me just do 4.45. My plane's boarding. We're waiting for two guests. So we leave late and I'm like stressing out a little bit. Then I was thinking in my head, like, I hope I'm not too far back because of course when we leave, like you have to like wait for everyone in front of you to get out. And since I was like in a time crunch and I wanted to get off early, um, the universe just like set me up and put me at like the furthest back seat. Like there was nobody behind me. I was the back. So I did have to wait for the whole plane to empty before me. Thankfully my bag came out really quick and I went and waited for a cab. I thought in my head when I like envisioned the scenario that I'd just be able to like hop in a cab, whatever, get on my way and go wait for the Jitney bus. Um, but no, there's a 35 to 40 minute wait for all the cabs. But it was like, what else was I gonna do? So I just waited in line and I was like, eee! So I am here on time, 15 minutes early and I'm just chilling waiting for the bus to come get me and then it'll be a three hour ride which is gonna be so long i've been sitting like all day my hip flexors are in like so much pain but i'm like beyond excited that i've made it here the jitney bus was completely packed so i didn't film too much in there but it did drop me conveniently like right downtown in montauk so my friends came and picked me up be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel so you can see the vlogs of my time here i really appreciate you sticking around all the way until the end thank you so much and stay tuned for my Hamptons vlogs.